follow-up to a previous story, in response to One Piece winning a Guinness World Record, Shonen Jump has digitally republished the entire issue in which One Piece premiered. In addition, Shonen Jump launched an iOS and Android app that will republish the entire series for free over time. New chapters will appear daily in the app. Pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. We also have more details on the story for the new Dragon Ball Super series. Huh. The show will be set just after the, de the defeat of Majin Buu. Uh, Chi Chi has ordered Goku to start earning some money in this story, while Goten and Trunks search for a present for Videl. Uh, also, Beerus and Whis, I think that they're pronounced, from the Battle of the Gods movie will return as regular characters. Hmm. So this is going to be an original story set after all those events, and it will be Moving on from there. A new Beyblade anime series is in the works. Beyblade Burst will be the third generation of the franchise. The anime studio Oriental Light and Magic will produce the series. It will be directed by Katsushido Aikiyama of Bubblegum Crisis, El Hazard, The Wanderers, and uh, Inazuma. Inazuma 11 and written by Haideke Sonodo, who also worked on the Pokemon franchise. Cool. Interesting getting a Pokemon person on Beyblade. Yeah. yeah. Um, Anime Souls, the beleaguered anime streaming site that tried to crowdfund classic series, both for streaming and DVD production, has made an interesting announcement in the wake of their closing. They're closing? No! They're closing. Yeah, I know. Um, they, they closed, I think, back in May of this year? Uh, this is a, a little while ago. Their entire remaining stock of DVDs must go by the end of June. Oh. So only a few days from now, really. Uh oh. Um, and if they don't go, they will go. Company staff will physically destroy all remaining discs. Why? Well, purely to avoid getting taxed on them. Oh. Yeah. So, so if, if anybody wants those DVDs, go to animesouls.com. It's S O L S.com. And uh, order them soon. They got a lot of classic anime up there. Um, now is the time. It's uh, it's better to to buy those than have the assets destroyed. Exactly. But go there quick. Yeah, I know. Crunchy wall, crunchy bowl, <laughs> want to be bowl. Crunchy roll will stream the new live action Death Note TV series in the United States and Europe. The show will rep premiere July fifth in Japan, and then will air on Crunchyroll and other services a few days after broadcast. This show will involve a new story that has not yet been previously adapted and will include the character of Nier. Cool. A trailer appeared this week for an upcoming movie from Studio 4C. The movie is called Mutafukas and is based on the comic of the same name by Ron Renard. This is a French comic. Um, it's, it's another French-Japanese co-production, which happens a lot for some reason. Um, several major staff members from Studio 4C's earlier anime film, Take on Concrete, are also working on this film. The comic is set in a, quote, pre-apocalyptic American urban jungle, end quote, and will premiere in 2007. At least that's the plan. Can't wait. Yeah. 2017? 2017. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Funimation has announced a deal with Universal Pictures, where Universal will distribute Funimation's entire catalog. Wow. Wow. This, this looks like... It'll allow Funimation to hand over distribution duties to Universal, while Universal adds over 400 Funimation uh, titles to its catalog. Nice. That's a big change in the industry there. That sure is. And I, I, I'm, I'm hoping the idea is that um, it'll kind of free up Funimation to spend more of its time on acquisitions mm. and uh, all that stuff instead of pressing DVDs and all the other kind of distribution stuff and marketing and, and so forth. Who knows? Hopefully, hopefully... It, it won't decrease in quality. Yes, exactly. We'll, we'll see. Um, moving on to anime conventions coming up this weekend. Cons, 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 cons. <laughs> Lovely cons, wonderful Super cons. cons. <laughs> uh, Florida Supercon in the Miami Beach Convention Center in Miami, Florida. It's been operating since 2006. Wow. Um, guests, many, many guests include the 501st Legion of Star Wars customers. Uh, Caitlin Glass, the voice actress and oh, ADR sweet. director, she is. Uh, Vic Mignogna, J. Michael yeah. Tatum, and a number of Star Wars, Star Trek, and Doctor Who actors. It's like a couple of dozen of them. Uh, really, really big con down there. 
Omnicon, June 26th through 27th at McAllen Convention Center in McAllen, Texas. Cool. They've been going on since 2008, so a little bit newer. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the guests featured will be Bryce Pappenbrook, Pappen yeah, uh, voice actor, and uh, Sunny Strait, voice actor. Cool. Check it out. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're down in Australia, uh, he um, head on down to the Supernova Pop Culture Expo in Perth. And I'm going to do this accent just to annoy all you Australians. Uh, that's no, that, that, that's this weekend uh, at the Perth Convention and Exhibition Center in Perth. Who's going to be there? Uh, Sherry Lay and Veronica Taylor, voice actresses, as well as a number of others. Uh, it's been going since 2001, so pretty, pretty uh, long-standing nice. cost. Yeah. Cost Day, June 27th through 28th in Nordwest Zentrium, mm -hmm. Frankfurt, Virginia. <laughs> Frankfurt, Germany. Germany. Okay, good. <laughs> Frankfurt, well, Nord, Nord, Northwest Zentrium. That sounded like a fictional name almost. Wow. <laughs> that the Northwest a... Zentrium. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, I take a Northwest Zentrium every day for, for my uh, 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 Multivitamin. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Zentrum 21. <laughs> Northwest Zentrum 21. And if you're over in France, head over to Japan Addict uh, in Strasbourg, uh, France at the Zenith Europe. It's been going since 2004, so it's 10 years old now. 10 years. Yes. Tenure. They've received, they, 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 they finally got, got tenure. tenure. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anime Expo in Los Angeles, California at the LA Convention Center. Uh, not Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's going to happen on July 2nd through 5th uh, over the holidays. Yeah. So check it out. You Absolutely. Know, it's going to be a bundle of fun. It's huge. Absolutely. Uh, moving on to Kickstarters, so my own Otaku Brain Trust anime convention is not going well. Uh, it's at two hundred and twenty dollars of the over five thousand needed to fund this. Help. I know uh, this intellectually focused anime convention in Virginia, scheduled for February of next year. Twenty two days to go, though. So spread the word. Exactly, still time to go. Look for Otaku Brain Trust on Kickstarter. Oh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, what was it? What was the name of that company that was going to destroy the dick, the, the discs again? That was <laughs> Those dicks who were going to destroy yeah. the discs. Come on, keep the discs alive, man. That was Anime Souls. Anime Souls. S O U L S. S O S O L S. S O L S. As in sun. S O L S. Oh, soul like the sun, solar like the flares. Yeah, exactly. Anime Souls. Yeah. So. Those can still be purchased at the last minute now. Hopefully, yeah. Save from the fire. Yeah, AnimeSouls.com, hopefully. So, uh, Anime Ego's Kickstarter for Otaku no Video is now at $85,849, over double its goal and only a few days remaining. Boy. If you want to get in on it, do so now. Only $25 get, uh, US gets you the Blu-ray shipped anywhere in the world except Japan. Yeah. Uh, in that case... Uh, Talk with me. Maybe I'll come and visit you and drop it off. Yeah. <laughs> Good old international licensing rights. Yeah. You know, you got to get that worked out. Um, I'm glad you mentioned the, the U.S. dollars because you know, we get Australian dollars and all that stuff. So Zimbabwe gotta, dollars. Right. So you got ah. to mention it. Um, update on the Kickstarter for Asterion, a French-Japanese co-production of a 13-episode interactive anime series. They're looking to raise about $151,000 by the end of July. And they raised about nine thousand six hundred dollars so far. Mm -hmm. The trailer looks like um, uh, features extremely high quality animation. I wish we could, we could show you some because it's beautiful. Um, staff members include a Studio Ghibli alumnus wow. and several other distinguished anime staff, including Hiroshi Shimizu of uh, Michiko and Hachin and the Lupin the Third Vujiko Mine series. So very high quality animation episodes there. Um, That's quite a collection of folks working on that. Exactly, it's that would be great to staff. see that funded. Yeah, and and so that's going to be a cho sort of choose your your destination, your adventure. Yeah, so every episode will have some decision points in it, and depending on what you choose, will change the story. Yeah, interesting. We'll okay. we'll see how it goes. Here's an odd one. Uh, Fred Funrell, or sorry, Fernell. No, there's no R in there. Fennell. <laughs> Fennell. <laughs> Fred Fennell of Melbourne, Australia, has never watched anime. He's launched a Kickstarter to raise 78 US dollars. If funded, he will watch 10 anime series nonstop for over 48 hours. Huh. Pledge $5 to receive his reviews or $10 to name a show that he has to watch it. Wow. So, 
That sounds like fun. Sure does. Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> if he if he gets overfunded, can we force him <laughs> to do like ninety six hours? Yeah. Of anime? <laughs> You're gonna watch it all in one sitting. <laughs> I, I'd love to know where he he uh, arrived at seventy eight dollars exactly. Yeah, he. I it's, it's, how do, yeah, how do yeah, you I, I don't know. I mean, that, that's I'm seventy-eight sure U.S. too, not Australian. It's yeah, Australian dollars. So. I, yeah, I don't. Well, I, I think Kickstarter just converted it to U.S. Hmm. Probably. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's how much it costs to stream. Well, yeah, he, he was saying he, he's not going to stream it. He's not going to stream it. it. He's going to watch it. Yeah. Um, it? Yeah, he said he, he's going to he's going to need energy drinks. Energy so that's drinks. That's where some of the money is going to go to. Uh. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's uh, this sounds like a standard weekend for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forty-eight hours of anime. Finally, I'll work is out of the way. Binge. I'll, binge. I'll take seventy-eight dollars for that. Yeah, I'll, Jeez. Any day I'll do it for half that. Right. Absolutely. Shoot, I usually pay to do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the anime releases of the week, starting with uh, Discotech Media, they released Lupin the Third, the Castle of Cagliostro film on Blu-ray. MSRP is thirty bucks, so it'll street for probably around twenty. Funimation is releasing Attack on Titan book and Ultimate Collector's bundle. Oof! Wow! Yeah. At a whopping one hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-three cents. Mm -hmm. It's a Funimation exclusive. Yep. Wow. Funimation Origins. Or Origin, Spirits of the Past, DVD, is come out in the save edition, and it's a mere $15, $14.98, for mm -hmm. those of you who are counting pennies. <laughs> it's uh, definitely a, a good deal there. Mm -hmm. uh, Funimation also has released the Blu-ray version, uh, also save, for nineteen ninety-eight. Not bad, 20 bucks. Ping Pong, the animation, the complete series, Blu-ray DVD combo, is also come out at $59. 98. Nice. Ping Pong was that um, kind of controversial series using all the rotoscope animation back mm. in the day. Um, very, very distinctive. NIS America has released Nyaruko Crawling with Love Season 1. Uh, Nyaruko is the, the series in which uh, um, all of the, the Cthulhu uh, mythos gods are represented as cute anime moe girls. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh yeah! My goodness, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, I believe I'm getting that one correct. Um, <laughs> standard edition on Blu-ray for fifty-five dollars, um, sub only. They're also releasing Wagneria Two, complete mm -hmm. second series, standard edition on Blu-ray, also for fifty-five dollars, sub only. And Yuru Yuri Happy Go Lily Season One, standard edition on Blu-ray only, fifty-five dollars for the sub only. Oh, I can't wait! I can't wait! Sentai Films. Hayate, the Combat Butler, Cuties, your complete collection, $49.98. Not only that, there's also the Blu-ray that's come out for $59.98. They are subs. True. So It should also be pointed out, this is Hayate, the Combat Butler, Cuties, not the original series. Important New to distinguish series. that. Absolutely. And then uh, finally, Viz Media is releasing the 25th set of bleach oh my goodness <laughs> and i still can't get that stain out <laughs> that's that'll be 44 dollars and 82 cents bleach set 25 it's amazing so as always thanks to the dvd dvd talk forum folks for their anime releases kickstarter for all of their stuff animecons.com for their listing of anime conventions and anime news network as well as pr newswire for their anime news that's it for this week. And for the news, thanks for joining us from around the world and in the universe. And under the moon. And under the moon. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>